What's good, people? It's Phoenix Star Nine. Um, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to register your music um, on Nielsen BDS. And BDS basically that's where you they keep track of how many radio spins you get or how many times your record is played on a BDS radio station. Um, and then at that point, they actually make sure that you get paid. Um, Uh, uh, the BDS registered stations, a lot of them are like your locals, um, FM radio stations, and then sometimes you have the online radio stations that are also registered on Nielsen BDS. Um, and again, you get pay, you know, every time your music's played, it, it gets tracked, and that's how you get paid. Um, a lot of people don't understand it, like, why doesn't my music get on the radio? Why come, how come it's, I'm always hearing this garbage? It's because I understand people feel like it's a lot of payola, but you got to take the initiative to first do the shit to get your shit on the radio. You know what I'm saying? Um, to take those proper steps. Anyway, we are right along. First things first, I'm going to put the link here um, to this document just showing you what you need to do. But basically, you go, you have to, you submit it, you submit your MP3s free of charge to Nielsen BDS. But first, you have to get a password and a username, um, which you get by, you, you uh, send them an email. Uh, it says virtual encode as a subject to their client services department. Um, and then you wait maybe like a day or two and you get it um, in your email. But when you send it, when you send them the email, you have to put your full name, your company, your label name, um, contact number, your email address, and any additional contact information. Um, at that point, you will get your information back, like in your email, or if you do it, choose to do it by mail, um, you'll get your information back, like, it's pretty quick, like maybe a day for emails, like a business day. Um, I'm not sure how long for, for regular mail. But, um, basically, that's the first step. Okay, but just remember that when you're doing it, you have to have radio-ready clean music. And you do want to make sure that you have quality music. So, we're going to go ahead and go to step two. What, like, once you get your, once you send this off, you actually get the information in the mail, in your email, which I got mine. Um, and it'll just be like, Nielsen BDS Virtual Encode. So I got mine. I'm not gonna pull it all the way down because it has my information. But you get to your, you get a uh, it has a link there, and you're gonna click the link that comes in the email. They give you a password and a username. So once you once you actually go there, um, from clicking your password and your username, um, let me see if I can pull it up here to that link real quick. And this kind of gives you an overview just saying you know this is what this is what it is this is how you do it they kind of give you instructions so but you have to do it from Internet Explorer um, whenever you're getting ready to upload Internet Explorer so you click the link that they send you Right, I am back, and what it is is you click the link, um, and it comes up. This is the uh, information. This is the site that'll come up. You put your username. And you put your password. And you log in. All right. Alright, I had already done one, but basically it's it's pretty easy. Um you see that uh you're gonna click send media to send your track and it's gonna pull up eBay if you have it on CD, you put in a CD, you upload it, or you upload an MP3 file. Simple. And then at that point you're gonna label it like right here. Um and then you're done like you you upload it and it's done simple phoenix online.com check it out appreciate you